All right, you guys, it's the one and only Mashiach Ben Joseph here again. Poppy Alway just asked me to put together another short video to remind you and remind me of parts of design and uh, how my identity and stuff like that is encoded into uh, reality. So it's sort of like, this is sort of like my fate or whatever. But anyway, he asked me to start with Isaiah 52 and Isaiah 53 and parts of it. So here we go. The, the beginning of Isaiah 52, 13 through 14. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. All right. Now, basically what he asked me to say is that servant means you're dedicated to the service of God. And that is the definition of anointed. And anointed means Messiah. And in that, in Greek, is Christos. All right, so don't forget that. Christos. And exalted and be very high means that you would be above, basically, like everyone else. Which means you'd be the most good. Which is sort of like the supreme, most good being on earth. Which would be God. God is the supreme being. Supreme means most good. And that means being very high or exalted. All right? So that, there you go. So this, so right away, you know that he's talking about the uh, the servant with the God title, his his uh, his the anointed one, the Messiah. So it's basically like saying, "Behold, the Messiah shall deal prudently; he shall be exalted and extolled, and be very high with the God title." All right. <clears throat> now, as many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man and his form more than the sons of men. All right, now if you're very high, if you're the most good or the supreme being with the God title on earth, and you're the most good person on earth, that means when bad things happen to you and you're disfigured or marred, that it's it's a lot more significant and, and disastrous. So that's why he's saying that it's, he's basically, his visage was marred more than any man because he's the most good being. So anything bad done to him is way more significant and way more tragic. All right. And then it goes on in, uh, after a while into Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. It says, Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried out our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our inequities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All right? So basically it's talking about him. this guy is going to be bearing all their griefs. And it says, it also mentions it in other parts of Isaiah 53, where he'll be bearing a ton, bearing a lot. And it also says in there that it's for humanity. So for us, bearing ton. All right? And that's this right here. For us, bearing ton. Christos for us bearing ton is like Christophorus bearing a ton, which is Christopher Barrington or Chris B. All right. Now, if you measure from the Dome on the Rock in Jerusalem to the Kaaba in Mecca, which are like the two holiest sites in the Middle East, all right, the Temple Mount and the Kaaba in Mecca. It's 666.704 nautical miles and 767.28 miles over ground. 704 is like G0D, which is like God. So it's like 666 God. All right. And there's that God title again, 76728. All right. Now you treat that as the dimensions of a triangle and you get 76 degrees. A large seven is the triangle and then 28 degrees. Put in 666.704, that's the side, and X becomes 322.58, which is CBBA, which is like Canada, because the Canadians are the ones who always say A. All right. Now, the height of that triangle would be 647. So you write the Latin alphabet in a circle and circle the letters of the name Chris B, and it gets a triangle draw a triangle and it points to the letters of the name Chris B and the amount of letters in between is 647. So you know it so you know that CBB is actually Chris B B. All right?
right? And you, you add those partial inverted triangle and the, the, the circle and triangle and you get the seal of Solomon or the star of David. So all together, you get 666 God, 76, 728, Chris BB of Canada. And that's me. That's who I am. Christopher Barrington. All right. And just what he asked me to, what, what started all this was he asked me to show you a new equation that he just, t just taught me, which is where you convert letters to numbers and add in operators. And so you take this statement, God is Chris B728. You convert that to letters and number or to numbers and throw in the operators. And it comes out to 10, 4, 8, 4, 8, 68, 7, 0, 4. 848, when you do the thing with the English alphabet instead of Latin, instead of 647, it's 848. All right, so 848 is crispy. And then 68 is like F8, which is which would be pronounced sort of like fate. All right, so you get affirmative, crispy, fate, God. All right, and that's basically all he asked me to uh, to show you was that uh, it really is like all encoded into the Bible and you know in different translations of Isaiah 53 say different things like for here it says he was wounded or bruised but other translations say that it was crushed and pierced all right he was crushed and pierced all right so here we go I'll show you this my foot is actually has no freaking toes because it was crushed and uh, it's got a bandage on it because there's a hole in the bottom where it was pierced so basically like a crushed and pierced foot and uh, yeah so it's uh, and, and remember it says in Genesis uh, 315 I think it was where uh, the devil would strike uh, the Messiah's foot all right and that's how it also says here, uh, you notice in Isaiah 53, 4, it says, we esteemed him stricken. And remember it said in Genesis, we stricken by God. All right. But in Genesis 3, 15, it says you'd be stricken. His foot would be stricken by the devil. All right. The serpent. So, uh, yeah. And another thing that's interesting, if you look at it, is uh, Christos. Christos means Messiah. If you say Christos with no toes, it's actually Chris. So Christ Messiah with no toes is Chris. And that's me. So there you go. That's basically all he asked me to show you. And uh, yeah, so there you go.